Hello, and uh, this is a little instructional video on the uh, WordPress Ultimate Recipe plugin, which is a, 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 a relatively new recipe plugin that's uh, been on the market for probably been around for a little while now, but it's taken over from a previous plugin called Recipress, which ended up becoming a nightmare for anyone who invested time in it because they basically I don't know, they promised the world with it and delivered absolutely nothing. In fact, the only uh, update they delivered ended up uh, ruining the previous install and uh, unless someone backed up their database, they pretty much uh, screwed everything over. And so, uh, yeah, so I think uh, for, for people like myself with so many clients that invested in Recipress, it was a pretty disappointing thing all, all, all around. But anyway, uh, from where Recipress uh, left, um, uh, WordPress Ultimate Recipes has, uh, has taken over and there's there's two versions of the plugin. There's the basic version and then there's the premium version. I suggest you get the premium version straight away because it, it offers a lot more um, straight out of the box than just the basic version. If you if you only got one or two recipes you want to chuck up, the basic version is fine. But if you take yourself seriously and you really want to get stuck into recipes, then I suggest you uh, take the full power of the uh, the professional uh, version. Okay, so now you'll see this this website, which is one of my favourite websites that we've developed. It's called uh, the Monday Morning Cooking Club, and uh, it's an iteration of the of the Woo Canvas theme uh, framework where we've developed on top of it. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking uh, little website. And you can see we've created uh, we're using the grid um, system from um, Ultimate Recipe. With a short case, but we've restyled it uh, to suit, and you'll see how that looks out of the box, which is pretty nice. Okay, and you'll see with you, you've got little search boxes for um, all the different uh, uh, things. The categories is a bit a bit weird because it shouldn't really it should only come from the recipes categories, but it comes from all the categories, and that needs to be fixed up because um, uh, it comes from the normal blog post categories. And there's a few little bugs and a few little minor irritations with it, but the guy who's developing it, uh, he's pretty dedicated to it, and there's updates coming all the time. Whereas Recipress, we had one update that basically ruined everything you've been developing, uh, that you've been working on for the previous few years. So uh, updates coming all the time. So let's dive in and have a look at the back end. Um, you'll see with, Recip with the Recipes plugin, you get your own custom post type. Um, adding new, you can create your own categories of recipes. Um, uh, courses, all that sort of stuff, um, uh, cuisines, uh, and then you've got your admin. I'll, I'll let you dive into all that. I'm basically just going to get into how how you how you should add a recipe and, and, and why it's important to get it right from the get go. Okay, so there's a few things you've really got to take note of. Okay, the first thing is your your blog title. Um, is, is replicating that. You can put whatever you want in your blog title, but your recipe title should be pretty pretty clear cut on what you're actually doing. And it's got all the standard sort of tools uh, with the ratings and all that sort of stuff. The servings, how many servings, uh, preparation time, cook time, passive time, which is time waiting around to do things. Okay, so this is the important stuff here. So the ingredients, you really got to set yourself a standard from the beginning. And that is to uh, abbreviate pretty much everything from the start and keep that consistency going all the way through. The same with, um, uh, because on the, on the website, uh, you'll see that it has a conversion tool. And if you, if you put the right abbreviations in, it will actually convert it from imperial to, uh, to metric uh, quite easily. Obviously not things like whole and stuff like that. But anyway, so make sure this first one is basically the amount, whether it's one, eight, 200, quarter, whatever. Um, and this is the abbreviated um, uh, um, type. So if it's grams, cups, whole, whatever. But again, really stick to a whole formula here and keep it going throughout the whole site for every single one. I guarantee you'll have a nightmare later on if you don't. And then here, you've got the, uh, the actual ingredient. Eggs, caster sugar. Now, keep away from putting super fine caster sugar and things like that. Caster sugar, and then in the notes for each for each thing, put the super fine or best quality or you know all the other options. Keep it to one ingredient only, okay? And you'll have to separate it out. Um, you can also add ingredient groups, so you can have a you know for the for the toppings uh, for the icing or something. You could have a different group for the ingredients. 
Although I've got to say that's not working very well at the moment. So I'm steering clear of that. And then you've got your instructions. And again, you've got instruction groups. Okay, again, that's not working very well. And you can remove items uh, quite easily like that, you know. Um, but the instruction group doesn't seem to be working. So that's something to have to work on. And the ingredient group doesn't seem to be working either. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, the, the person developing this will know this. Hopefully you'll watch this video. Um, okay, so um, here we are. I, I would, I, I would uh, under, under, I put it a category recipes because all these are actually blog categories, which is a little bit confusing. Uh, so basically we've just got recipes and then you've got your uh, courses, cuisines, all that. So make sure you select it. Make sure you set these up correctly for what you want. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you can put the instructions. You can just add an image, uh, upload, the, upload the files from the image. It's quite quick uh, how, on how to do that. And you see the image uh, sits in there nicely. Now, okay, so if I save this draft, um, it'll save quite nicely. And then we'll have a preview of this page, which hasn't gone live yet, so I'm not going to put it live. Um, but if I open that in new tab, you would see that. But again, I want to really make this clear. I put these three fields are really important. The, the, uh, the, the amount, the type of amount, grams, kilograms, pounds, whatever you want, but stick to that formula all the way through. Don't chop and change between imperial and, and uh, metric. Stick to one all the time. Okay, and then um, and then the ingredients and keep it simple. Keep the ingredients simple. Don't get be going dark chocolate with spice, anything. Put the notes for the for the ingredient here all the time. And then you're gonna have a great list of ingredients that are, that is gonna be of use to you to the to the end user. As you'll see in here, the ingredients have got to be of some use, otherwise it's useless. Okay? And it will definitely cause you issues down the track when you've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100, 200, 300 recipes, unless you get it right from the, from the beginning. So there you go. So let's uh, have a look at the, the, this one here. You'll see the images aren't showing uh, up there, but look, at the, look how nicely it's laid out. We, we actually had to style this a fair bit. Out of the box, it didn't really style that well, and we have to add our own styling. And there's a couple of templates you can use. Again, <coughs> uh, they could probably do a bit better job of the, of the templates. But there you've got the ratings, you've got the, uh, being, uh, the user being able to print it nice and clean, clean you know, it's very, very nicely done. And this has got a lot of potential to be one of the big, big uh, plugins on, on WordPress. So many people do do recipes, even, even the casual blogger uh, does recipes. So this is going to, only going to get better. Um, it's, it's a great little plugin to begin with. Um, the options uh, for the administration are, are pretty good. Um, but it still does need some work and there's some little bits and pieces of, there's some bugs in there still and there will be bugs for quite some time, but it's getting better and better. Uh, each new release is getting better and better all the time. Okay, so that's the uh, WordPress Ultimate Recipe. Here there's the, there's the, the premium version. Um, you'll see that the premium version is uh, $74.99 and that's really good money well spent. And if you're a developer and you want to do a number of them, uh, uh, by the developer, but, but please read the uh, read the read the uh, information about it because the, this one here is an annual fee, or well, there is some kind of annual fee built in for people who purchased it after November. Okay, um, but look, it's a great little plugin. Support it and uh, and make sure you report any bugs back to uh, to the owners. So you can download the plugin at WordPress or just type in WordPress Ultimate Recipe. And uh, you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, uh, download it quite easily. It, it's it's supported up to WordPress 3.81. I suggest you have the one of the latest versions of WordPress. Um, some great things about it too is that it's fully responsive. So uh, there are some little niggles that are a little bit annoying, like the images for the thumbnails actually don't. Uh, if you they they sort of. I don't know. They, some, some, sometimes we have some issues with the thumbnail images, but look, it's it's a great little plug-in, and uh, I hope you support it.